we're going to look at one bit of small talk work now the two words that we need to remember with respect to work in for the two very important prepositions hi there welcome back to telw the english workshop if you're new to this place my name is manu i make videos on english language skills to help you improve your english skills your communication skills so if you're really interested in improving your english or improving your communication there's a the right place come to us stay with us subscribe right um and don't forget stick on with us till the end because this video has a continuity and they're all linked to one another i mean the second element is linked to the first third is linked to the second and so on so unless you go right till the end you won't understand the full video and i'm going to be very concise in this one so in this video we're going to look at one bit of small talk work what is small talk if you remember in one of our earlier videos we had spoken about small talk it is the i'll call it the lubricant of conversation it's like the oil that you put in a very old machinery to make it run smoothly that is small talk the lubricant okay it's a lot of useless talk value less talk right and one of the things that people ask for or speak about is work now the two words that we need to remember with respect to work is in for the two very important prepositions for study you also have a third one at now we'll look at these three as we proceed okay and i'm going to talk about three instances work for the employee the question the general question is what do you do so you could be an employee or in service as some people say you could be a student or you could be a businessman you could also be a housewife if you want okay but we look at this in brief we look at these three in detail All right let's start with the employee what do you do first question don't say i work you simply say that you are an accountant a teacher whatever your designation is if you're an accountant say i'm an accountant not i work as an accountant when i say i work as an accountant it simply means i'm a doctor but i work as an accountant hmm that's rubbish isn't it right now i'm an accountant i'm a teacher i'm a doctor i'm an engineer i'm a mechanic same thing i am blah right and if you want to give a bit more of that you can say i'm an accountant in the pf section i'm a teacher in the primary school or i'm an english teacher in the high school i'm an english lecturer in the college i'm an english professor at the university whatever great now in where do you work so the question is the place where you work so if you're a doctor you can say i work in a hospital in a hospital i work in a nursing home so you work in you're talking about the general place of work hospital nursing home etc i work in a supermarket i work in a restaurant i work in a hotel you work there so you're in the hotel now if you want to give the name of the place i work for Tr hotel trident i work for delhi public school i work for ici i work for well hdfc bank name of the place so what's the question here who do you work for i work for hdfc bank where do you work 
I work in a bank. If you want to ask a question and you want to know the name, you say, who do you work for? Who do you work for? And look at the voice quality. Who do you work for? Who do you? Becomes who do you? Who do you work for? I work for HDFC Bank. Where do you work? I work in a bank. Another question could be the duration, the time for which you've been working there. So how long have you been with HDFC? Oh, I've been with HDFC for three years. Or I've been with HDFC for three years now. You can also add now. It doesn't add any value to it, but you can find people using that. Now, I wonder why. It's weird though. Right. Now, how long have you been with? How do you say this if you want to say something, if you want to introduce your work bit? I work for HDFC Bank as an accountant. I've been there for about three years. I've been there. I have. I've. I've been there for three years. I've been there for three years now. Now let's see if you're a student. Same questions. What do you do? I'm a student. Oh, so obviously they won't ask you where do you work, right? So where do you study? I study in a school. I study in the college. If they want to know the name of the college, they might ask you, where do you go to school? Where do you go to school? I go to Delhi Public School, R.K. Puram. Right? I go to the Hindu College, Delhi. Name of the place. If they want to know what you study, what do you study? Say, I'm doing an undergraduation course in physics. Oh, yuck. It's simply horrible, right? I'm studying physics. I'm studying physics, simple, finished. When you say I'm studying physics, I don't know, people normally feel that, okay, it's an undergraduation course. If you don't say like, I'm doing my master's in physics. If it's not an undergraduation course, it's I'm doing my master's in physics. I'm doing my research or PhD in molecular biology. That's all there is for the student. Where do you study? What do you study? It's all, it's all there is about this small little thing. Let's go to the businessman. It's even fewer. Say, what do you do? I'm a businessman. So I work for myself. You don't say I work for IBM. No. I work for myself. So if you're a businessman, you say, I work for myself. You can also say, I run my own business. I have my own business. But... Uh, the feeling that I get is, you know, I work for myself is more, it sounds more cool. Way cooler than I run my own business. You can also say, I'm a motor mechanic and I work for myself. Or, I work for myself as a motor mechanic. I work for myself as a tutor. I work for myself as a physician. I got my own clinic. So, I work for myself, myself, as a word, myself. Now, here's one little thing that you might have a problem with, especially if you're employed. If you're not employed now, you left the previous job, and you are still haven't gotten to the new job, so where are you now? You are in between jobs. So, if you're not employed, you can say, I'm in between jobs. Or you can say, I've taken a sabbatical. Oh my God, it's so pretentious. I hate the word, I've taken a sabbatical. I don't like it. Personally speaking, I wouldn't say that. I just say, I've taken some time for myself. I've taken some time off. 
I've taken time off for my PhD. I've taken time off for my wife's pregnancy. She is going to deliver in another 20 days, so I've taken six months off. It's not a bad one. I've taken a sabbatical. It's great. It sounds more biblical. So hit the like button if you have liked it. And I think you have since you have come right till the end. And also consider sharing with the others. I'm sure people would love to know this as well. Do a good turn by them. And see you in our next video. Bye-bye.